a digital product needs a platform to sit on in order for those rights to be real. So when mm -hmm. people were paying more for a digital Gucci bag in Roblox than they were for a physical bag uh, in twenty one in twenty twenty one, then uh, what could you do with that Gucci bag? It could only live in Roblox. Or all the people that are in a co-creator economy. Don't get me wrong. Once again, Roblox is an amazing economy where people are making money. They're a part of the economy. They're the they're the creator economy. But they're making Robux. They're not making dollars. I mean, they translate into dollars, but everything's centralized. Nothing leaves Robux. Nothing is owned. It's all leased, and people call it ownership. And that is the real problem. I can't take that Gucci purse and pair it to my real Gucci purse. So part of the NFT system and that that logo is saying, this isn't about making sure that a digital object by itself is just ownable. It's about changing our idea of the relationship, what ownership means and what it is that you own, because it shouldn't mm -hmm. just be one format. So if you own the Gucci purse, it's now in Roblox format. But I want the JPEG version. I want the, the CAD version. I want the 3D printer version. I want the real life version with an NFC chip in it that are all connected together. But what does that mean? I own all different expressions of the same thing. And what I'm really owning is the mark, the NFT, that accesses all those different formats.